As dawn breaks on the Friday morning, things look pretty desperate for Jesus. He has already been interrogated twice, mocked all night in the cell beneath the high priest's house, and today he faces interrogation after interrogation. 6 a.m. The Council of Elders, who are meant to represent God, showing his justice, but they just want Jesus gone. No compassion. 7 a.m. Jesus is with Pilate, the Roman ruler of Judea. Pilate isn't sure what to do with these claims that the Jewish leaders make about Jesus, and he sends him off to Herod, who is also in Jerusalem. And then we have this amazing scene. Herod and Jesus in the same room. Herod, king of the Jews, and Jesus, king of the Jews. Only one of them can truly be king. Herod wants miracles. Jesus is silent. Herod mocks him, showing no compassion. And Jesus is sent back to Pilate. He has made no resistance, no threats, no revolt, no retaliation. He is innocent. And Pilate tries to find a way out. He has him beaten and then tries to free him. But the people show no compassion. How have they changed their opinion so completely in just a few days? Pilate offers to free either Jesus or Barabbas and the people shout for the murderous revolutionary Barabbas. 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 And so Pilate hands Jesus over to death. No compassion from the council elders. No compassion from Herod. No compassion from the people. No compassion from Pilate. Jesus has been shown no compassion. In the midst of this compassionless people are the words, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. As people mock, as leaders jeer, as soldiers gamble, Jesus shows compassion. Jesus, who is innocent and deserves compassion, shows compassion to the guilty and the undeserving. I wonder where I'd be standing on that day. And Jesus hangs there, hailed as a king in mockery, lifted high not on a throne but on a cross, the cupbearer offering him sour wine. If you're the king of the Jews, save yourself. A crown of thorns pushing into his skull, and the sign in mockery reading, King of the Jews. And on either side of our hero hang two criminals. 
One throws insults, trying to save his own skin. But the other acknowledges that Jesus is innocent, that he does not deserve what he is enduring. And he asks, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. What faith! Putting faith in Jesus, not as he does miracles, but as he hangs on a cross. And this guilty criminal is shown compassion, as he is told, Truly I tell you, today you'll be with me in paradise. Compassion reigns. Creation itself witnesses the injustice and reacts violently. The sky turns dark, the earth shakes and the temple curtain is torn in two. Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. Seeing such compassion, even the Roman centurion says, Surely this is a righteous man. Jesus doesn't just teach, love your enemies and pray for your enemies. He practices what he preaches. Despite the pain and the suffering and the agony, he rejects retribution and forgives the unforgivable. As he hangs there, abandoned and alone, he refuses to comply to the wisdom of the day. No eye for an eye, no tooth for a tooth. Instead, he offers paradise to the condemned. He shows us compassion. He invites us to receive.